Welcome to Chats, Barks, and Growls Convos with My Pet is a podcast where we bring your pets to life by sharing our voice for them, the thoughts they have, and how you got them. Also, please share how they have made you smile more and brought more joy and laughter into your life. Please email me in travels if you and your pet want to be interviewed for our podcast. I'll include the email in the description. Good evening, and this is Jennifer in Truffles. Happy New Year. We are sorry that we missed a couple weeks. We both took a break for the holidays. My mommy was uh, dealing with a migraine during the holidays, and I unfortunately still have it, but I am going to get through tonight's episode uh, somehow, so (laughs) bear with me. Um, So today we are going to talk about what makes dogs and cats um, get sick. The first article is about um, (laughs) what makes dogs uh, vomit. So you might not want to listen to this while you are eating, um, just forewarning. And the article is from the Kennel Club. Common causes for dogs being sick are scavenging and eating things they shouldn't, car sickness, viral or bacterial infections, you, a sudden change to their diet, food intolerance or food allergy, eating hard, foreign objects such as toys or bones, eating something poisonous, bloating, adverse reactions to medicines or anesthetics, eat stroke, problems with their kidneys, liver or pancreas, some metabolic conditions, problem with their gut, for example, inflammatory bowel or disease. Um, Yeah, I don't like it when you are sick. I mean, when truffles is sick or throwing up. The second article is how to make a dog throw up by Anna Burick, written on May 23rd, 2019. Why would you want a dog to throw up? Because they may have eaten something that you didn't want to or they shouldn't have. Oh, okay. Hydrogen peroxide 3% solution is the recommended medication for making a dog throw up. Luckily, it is something many of us have in our medicine cabinet. It also is a good idea to include a bottle in your dog's travel first aid kit. The next article is the seven the seven food most likely to make your dog or your pet sick by Bahra. Sorry, that's probably Indian. Probably didn't say it right. Written in May uh, 26, 2016. Chocolate, coffee, and caffeine. Chocolate has a dark side. Cocoa-based products are the items most commonly involved in food poisoning in pets, causing anything from mild problems such as tummy aches to seizures and death. These poisoning episodes frequently occur around holidays when there is a higher occurrence of chocolate products in the home, the researchers wrote. Exolidol, the next most common toxic foods for pets are products sweetened with an artificial sweetener called X little X Y L I T O L is frequently used in products such as sugar free gum, candy, bread, and other bait goods. It is also found in dental care products for both people and pets. 
because of its antibacterial properties. Onions, chives, garlic, and leeks, plant species in the aluminum genus such as onions, chives, leek, garlic, and leeks often make dogs and cats sick. These common ingredients contain compounds called organ sulfoxides. Yeah, I got the night, sorry. Organ sulfox, organ sulfoxides. That's not easy to say. When the animal chews the plant, the organ sulfur oxides, there we go, are converted into a complex mixture of sulfur compounds which can cause the animal's red blood cells to break down. If the dog or cat ingests even just a piece of onion, specifically 5 grams of onion per kilogram of body weight for cats, or 15 to 30 grams per kilogram for dogs, it can cause dangerous changes to their blood. Alcohol. Ethanol or alcohol poisoning in small animals generally occurs when an animal accidentally ingests an alcoholic beverage. However, causes of alcohol poisoning in dogs have been reported after dogs have ingested rotten apples, soul berries used to make um, solgen, and uncooked bread and pizza dough, all of which contain the compound. Grapes and raisins. Grapes, raisins, and sultans, and currants in both raw and cooked forms, including those found in snack bars and in baked goods, have been reported to cause kidney failures in dogs. However, not all dogs have the same reaction to these foods, according to the review. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Hops are commonly used for brewing beer and have been become more of a risk to pets as more and more people pick up home brewing as a hobby, according to the review. Macadamia nuts are popular in healthy snacks for humans, but they can be poisonous to dogs. It's not clear how much of these nuts when ingested by dogs can be a serious problem. However, some reports indicate that the ingestion of as little as 0.7 grams per kilogram of nuts is enough to cause symptoms. The next article is why is my cat being sick? Cat vomiting causes symptoms and treatments, home pet care advice. Why is my cat being sick? Cat vomiting. Sorry, I had that twice. Um, why is my cat being sick? Cat vomiting causes symptoms and treatments. Reasons for a cat being sick include hairballs eating too much or too quickly eating new or unusual food, an allergic reaction to food, the two food and parasites. Other causes include gastrointestinal conditions, peritonitis, heat stroke, and ingesting poisonous substances. Okay, um, I hope I didn't make too many mistakes there. And for the mistakes I did make, um, you know what? It's the new year. So maybe your new year resolution is to be. Um, more for forgiving of yourself and not beat yourself up on your mistakes. At least that's what part of what mine is. So I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, leave it at that point and hope that you enjoyed this new episode from Truffles, from me and Truffles. Sorry, I already forgot to do my voice there for a second. <laughs> that's okay. Mommy's pretty. Practicing her New Year's resolution already. Yay, mommy. Yay, me. Okay. Um, as usual, I will provide the links for the articles in the um, description for you. And I will talk to you next week. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year, everybody. 
I hope you had fun listening to Truffles and me and that we brought more joy and laughter to your day. Please don't hesitate to suggest topics for me and Truffles to use. Also, let us know if you and your pet would like to be interviewed by us. Looking forward to chatting with you next Tuesday night. Bye.